Hello everyone and happy Friday. It is May 17th, 2024. My name is Kyle. This is Mrs. Olson and it's time for Maker Notes. Today we're talking about the chromatic cowl. This is a new pattern from Amy Gunderson. It uses the technique of uh, mosaic knitting, which is a kind of color work where you're only working with one color in a row or around and you're knitting and slipping stitches or purling and slipping stitches um, on that row around back and forth and then you change to a different color and you do kind of the same thing and by the combination of knitting and slipping those stitches with the two different yarns it creates a really fun geometric usually pattern so the chromatic cowl uses this yarn it is from pop cycle this is radiant aren't you yes you are radiant this is color 3019 radiant it's one of the colors that's in this kit Pop Cycle itself is 50% uh, polyester. That's from recycled bottles, which is kind of cool. And then 50% bamboo. So it has a really great sheen. You can see that sheen and it has a lovely drape. Uh, each hank of this has 305 yards in each 100 gram hank. And you're gonna need one hank each of three colors to make this, uh, this cowl. So there are three colors in this kit colorway. Um, this is called the chromatic colorway, and the three colors are this. So there's 3019, then 3015, which is the black. So that's, of course, the border. And kind of what goes through most of it is the black. It's sort of the main featured color. And then color 3020 is the accent color, and that's, of course, this fun little stripe. So these three hanks of yarn are included in the kit, and of course, well, not of course, but in this case, we're going to include a needle as well. So this is going to be a Scassell by Addy. This is a rocket circular needle. It is a 24 inch size US 3, which is a 3.25 millimeter needle. And I just want you to see um, what this kind of looks like. So the tip of the rocket circular needle is that nice pointy tip, which is really lovely. It has that blue cord that the Scassell by Addy needles are famous for, and these are just awesome. So this is a 24 inch fixed circular, as you know, 24 inches measured from tip to tip. These are made by hand in Germany, um, and just so you are as I mentioned it, I guess, again, the 24 inch is an approximate, you know, because they are made by hand and that cord length can vary just a tiny little bit one way or another, but they're just about 24 inches and they're perfect for making this cowl. So you're going to get this needle, the three hanks of the yarn, and of course the chromatic uh, cowl pattern by Amy Gunderson. So for this pattern, if you just tell us your Ravelry name, we can put the pattern in your library as we process your order. If you don't have Ravelry or you don't use it, that's fine too. We can just send the pattern to whatever email address you use when you check out. Well, of course, uh, print a copy as well and include that in a page protector. We'll put that in with your order. So when you get everything, you'll have your yarn, you'll have your needle, you'll have the pattern, you'll be ready to cast on. So I showed you the chromatic cowl, uh, chromatic colorway. I'm going to show you now um, the other three that are options. So this is called, let's see, is this the right one? This is not the right color. we got to flip something. Hold on. You live with you. Okay, that that is right. Yes. So this is the operatic colorway. So operatic uses color 3018. That's splendid. It's a lovely sort of denim blue color. And then the two sort of accents that are suggested are our friend 3019. That's the silvery color. And then this is color 3014. So those three are the operatic colorway. So you get one hank of each of those, the needle and the pattern for that one. Then there's emphatic. And of course you can choose whichever main color, I'm calling it the main color, the color one, which is black in this one. Um, you could choose any color to make that be the one that goes all the way through. It only takes one hank of each color. So when you get your um, combination, you can choose which one you want to carry all the way through. So for the emphatic, emphatic colorway, we thought it would be really fun to do one that's nice and bright. This is pop. This is color 3016. It's a fun tangerine color. 
paired with 3012, which is white, and then U, which is three, this one, which is 3017. Its name isn't U. I'm saying U as in if it's um, this one. This is lovely, 3017. So those three would be a great one. So you could use this as the main color that goes all the way through the white if you wanted to have a really nice white border at the end, or or the lovely one, whichever one you want. They will all look really good. They all work well together. And then the last combination is called Prismatic. Prismatic uses color 3011, which is called Bubbly. It's this really pretty blue. And then a deeper uh, denim-ish blue, a darker blue. This is uh, doable denim. This is color 6002. Um, and then the last one is this here. What are you? What's your name? Glad. I'm glad. Glad. Color um, number 3004. So those three are the prismatic colorway. And you can choose, again, whatever one you want to be that main color that goes all the way through. So you choose what order you want to put these in, and uh, you'll be able to make your chromatic cowl. So that's the kit for today. Then we have um, a couple little Notions tins. The, uh, these are handmade in Canada, in Richmond, by Firefly Notes. It's this little cute tin that has a great little image on it. So there's this one here. And then we also have the little tiny cherry tin. These are perfect for holding um, stitch markers and that kind of thing. They are perfectly sized to go in your project bag as well. So if you're interested in getting a little slidey top tin from a artist in Canada, you have a chance to do that today. So that's the, uh, those are the motion, Notions tins. Then I can mention also the uh, knit box. So the May knit box unboxing video was released uh, yesterday, I believe. And so some people have already jumped on and purchased that kit. So if you don't get our knit box, it's a once a month, um, delivery. It's a subscription where you get this box from us and inside it there's a pattern, there's yarn, there's a gift, there's some kind of a treat, and it is a fun way to celebrate uh, knitting each month. So each month also is a different kind of project. This one is a small little um, shawl, a shawlette, I suppose, um, and if you'd like to watch that unboxing video you can see what that looks like. I go through the unboxing and talk about that. There are a few of these left, but uh, since that video came out, I gotta tell you, a lot of people have already bought them. So if you're interested in this one, it's a fun one. Um, get on our website and get one while you can. If um, the remaining boxes aren't showing anymore, that means that people have already bought them. But you have a chance to sign up for next month's by subscribing to the uh, to the Knitbox subscription. You can do that on our website. Just click on Knitbox at the top, um, in the top menu, and you'll be able to click on subscriptions and you can sign up there. And beginning next month, you'll get that box. Other stuff, the little teapot is still there. So we are excited, of course. We're just under a week, well, we're under a week away now for sure. For the uh, hangout, we're gonna talk with Marie Green um, of Olive Knits. So this is the four day knit along and we are going to spill the tea with Marie. Um, that rhymes, that's kind of fun. And I get to show you, we get to show you what our sample looks like. I will have a finished um, piece to show you, which is very exciting. Lots of colorway options using the yarn we're gonna talk about. I'm not spilling the tea yet, I'm just telling you some of the stuff. Um, there's also, of course, a bonus pack, some kind of goodies that you will probably be interested in. That event um, is Wednesday the 22nd of May from 1 to 2 p.m. Pacific time. So go on to our website under the calendar and click there on next Wednesday, you'll see that event there. Registration information is there. You click on that link and you can register. That way you'll be sure to get um, to get notified when it's time to join us. Um, however, Zoom tells you that with your devices and settings and things. And then uh, you can join us, ask questions, find out all kinds of stuff about this really awesome four-day event. It is a four-day knit-along, but um, you don't have to knit this piece in four days. You um, are just encouraged by Marie and all of the people who are part of the Olive Knits community to knit a garment or 
a project faster than you ever thought that you could. It is a supportive community full of lots of people making the same project, which is really encouraging. So um, give yourself the, the ability to, to join that and join us. Um, again, that's next Wednesday. The last two things to mention, uh, Kinky Yarn is still on sale through Sunday. That's exciting. Pop Cycle, I didn't mention it yet, is also on sale. Pop Cycle is 25% off. So if you like the idea of this, but you want to create your own kit, it won't have the pattern or the needles if you buy the yarn, but the yarn itself is 25% off. So that's an option for you. And then the last thing is just a free thing. There is the Mysterium T. That is a design by Hannah Mann, Dear Ingenue Knits. That is a, uh, a cute little T that is a free pattern. You can click on that link um, in our newsletter. It'll lead you to Ravelry where you can download that pattern as a gift. Um, it uses the same yarn, which is really wonderful. So perhaps you'd like to make a T using this super summery yarn. And I think... That's it for this beautiful Friday. Have a fun weekend, everyone. Make sure you do something kind for yourself. I'll see you again um, on Tuesday. And if I don't catch you next Tuesday, which I'll have a video, but if you don't see it, hopefully I'll get to see you on Wednesday when we get to spill the tea. So have a great weekend, everyone. I'll see you Tuesday. Bye.